KFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around positive territory right now. S&P is positive by four points, trading at 3196. We got the Dow up 26, trading 28,293. NASDAQ up 19 points, trading at 8843. Gold contract down almost $2 at 1478. Oil up eight pennies at 6102. We got crude inventories this morning at 1030 a.m., putting a bid under crude. Notes and bonds, a little bit of lower price and higher yield. The 10-year, negative 9 ticks at 128.05. The 30-year, negative 26 ticks at 156. Even in the dollar index, up 182 ticks at 97.404. Start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. March futures contract, currently trading 28,312. Pretty tight trading range today. You're talking about 28,280 on the lower end, 28,000. 330, maybe on the upper end, that's 50 Dow points. As we come into holiday trading, we may see the volatility just completely dry up. NASDAQ 100 trading at 86.30. We're within about 10 points of the high we made just before noon. S&P is trading right at 3,200. Looking at the futures contract, we were up above 3,202 just prior to noon today. Crude oil, as I mentioned, quite a bid coming off the EIA numbers. Crude trades from $60.36. We're now hovering right at around $61 in the price of February crude. There's your gold contract, $14.78. And the euro US dollar trading at $111.16. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, quite a day in politics as you have the House voting on impeachment. Could be the third time in the history of the US that the president is impeached, and it looks like that will be the case. Earnings season, still in full swing. We got Micron after the bell tonight, should be interesting. Last night, we got FedEx, and boy, oh boy, are they down today as they miss on earnings, lower their 2020 guidance, and I had to kind of chuckle at the line coming out from FedEx as they say that they're going to start lapping Amazon in 2021. Well, guess what, folks? It is still 2019, and Traders taking notice with FedEx down 10.1% right now. As I mentioned, Micron after the bell, coming into that down about a half a percent at 52.74. Stay tuned, folks. We got our man Dave White coming up live with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien live at three. Don't forget, Tiger Dollars on the front page of TFNN. That sale runs through Sunday. We'll be right back.